In the movie Thor Ragnarok, the superhero as guardian prince Thor finds himself in a difficult situation. Now I know what you're thinking. It turns out that his evil half-brother Loki has been masquerading in Asgard as his kingly father after trapping Odin on Earth. And on top of that, his elder sister Hela, the goddess of death, has been freed from her bondage and comes home seeking an uber-powerful revenge. It's a race against time to stop something called Ragnarok, the destruction of all Asgardian civilization. Unfortunately, Thor can't do much about any of it. Hi there. His mighty hammer has been destroyed, and he's imprisoned on the other side of the universe. What have you brought today? Tell me. A contender. Where he's been forced to fight gladiatorial contests. And before he can break free, he has to best none other than his former ally and fellow Avenger, the Incredible Hulk. Yes! We know each other. He's a friend from work. This newest movie entry in the Marvel comic universe is an odd reworking of Thor and his world. Yes, there's villain besting and self-sacrificial heroic action in the mix, but Thor's newfound jokiness translates into surprisingly salty language, crude gags, and even a bit of superhero nudity. And that's on top of the thumping violence. So I'm giving Thor Ragnarok two and a half quick quips out of five for family friendliness. For more on this film, be sure to check out PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies, I'm Bob Olszewski for Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review.